and Ellie's encounter with David and his group, who hold a grudge against Joel specifically. This grudge comes from the fact that the man Joel killed at the end of The Last of Us Episode 6 was a part of David's community. As a result, David sends men to kill Joel for retribution while taking Ellie alive to persuade her to lead the group alongside him. However, this does not end well for the men sent after Joel whose wound is healing, and his drive to save Ellie spurs him into violence. This culminates in the climactic ending of The Last of Us Episode 8, but not before Joel's brutal interrogation scene offers up some Season 2 foreshadowing. The interrogation scene in which Joel finds out the location of David's commune ends with him killing both captives. After stabbing the man who pointed out where David's community is on the map, Joel picks up a pipe and trudges toward the other prisoner. Joel then bludgeons the man to death before heading off to find Ellie in The Last of Us, Episode 8's ending. Joel killing the man with a blunt instrument is a subtle, dark way for co-creators Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin to foreshadow Joel's future death at the hands of Abby in Last of Us Season 2. Eventually, Abby captures Joel and beats him to death with a golf club. The similar method of Joel murdering the man from David's group, that being with a blunt instrument, has to be intentional in that the sequence will be reversed in the harrowing scene featuring Joel, Abby, and Ellie in Last of Us Season 2. Now if you guys enjoyed these videos and found them interesting, please show your support by hitting the thumb up button, subscribing to our channel, and turning on the notifications bell so that you can keep to date with our content releases. Also, leave your question and thoughts below. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next videos.